I got this for the fucking hundredth time. I'm gonna fucking kill you this time. I know it. I know. Oh, oh, you thought you were gonna fucking get me. Ha! Ha! Mm. Fuck! How we end up in the same place? Every night I'm looking at you with my game face. What is that? Well, that's you know, I don't understand how the fuck this guy was harder to beat than this guy. But anyways, hey what's up you guys, how's it going, it's me Mario, and the other day I was just chilling, you know, usual day, you know, nothing to do, a bunch of jerking off, and I get this amazing tweet, your videos make me cancer. Now I don't know about you, but I'm God, I have a sick humor when I fucking edit. Like I was saying, I don't know about you, but I felt pretty accomplished after that. If you read it very carefully, he didn't say, your videos make me feel like I have cancer, your videos make me feel like I get cancer, your videos make me cancer. I literally made this guy into cancer with my videos. Now I don't know who else can top that, but that's a pretty fucking great accomplishment. I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've ever heard this, so that you know brightened up my day knowing that I did something so life changing to someone. So anyways, I go back to watching dank meme, vine compilations, and high quality YouTube videos, videos um, such as this. Somebody Yo, so today I'm going to be doing the uh, Salt and Ice Challenge. Uh, in case you're a retard, it's where you put salt and ice in your hand or wherever on the body. <sighs> I'm proud of you, son. And then I get this other amazing tweet. This tweet's from Josh or at World Arts. He's a pretty cool kid. He's made some of my intros. And he tweets me out this YouTube link saying, ban him. He has your picture. So that gets me curious, you know, I click the link, I see his channel, and this guy has my logo. He has my fucking image. I made that logo. I fucking felt great about making it because I actually made it, you know? But it kind of felt cool, like, knowing, like, wow, this guy liked my logo so much that he, you know, put it up as his. So my first initial reaction was, you know, this, this is kind of fucking cool. Like, shit, this guy wants to be me. I'm fucking going places. But then I remembered, you know, my YouTube channel shit, I'm not going places. So after I took a step down from, you know, my big ego, I went over to his channel once again and I'm like, well, fuck, you know, this thinking about it now, this kind of sucks because because what if someone leaves a comment saying, you know, that's a great logo. You are going places, kid. And what if he actually makes it big with my fucking logo and my fucking channel name, might I add? So I watched one of his videos titled intro. I guess that's his intro for his channel. Me. Shut up. After watching it, I'm just like, wait a minute, I've seen this somewhere, where have I seen this? I know where this is from, and it took me a while, but I finally remembered where I saw it, and I went to my comment section from a video a while back, I think a few weeks ago, and this guy commented down below saying, hey, it's me Mario, I made you an intro, please check it out. And I went to his channel, and I watched the intro that he said he made me. me. Shut the fuck up. And it's the exact same fucking thing. By this point, I'm like, you know, this guy's going too far. He's stealing my logo, my name. He's stealing an intro that a fan made for me. To be honest, that intro probably wasn't also made from him. Because I've seen that intro float around the YouTube intro template community or whatever. But still, it kind of pissed me off. Because, like, who the fuck does this guy think he is? You know, that's my fucking logo. That's obviously not his intro. But then I took a deep breath and realized, this is the internet. People will fucking impersonate other people. I've seen it literally everywhere on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, all these e-girls on Twitter that are pretending to be actual gamers. At some point run into a few Instagram accounts that have their pictures with somebody pretending to be them. It actually even happened to a close friend of mine in high school. Well it didn't actually happen to her, it actually happened to her boyfriend but still. So one day in Spanish class she tells me how she thought her boyfriend had an extra Facebook account that she didn't know about. It had everything exactly the same. And she told me she confronted him about it but he said he did not know what she was talking about. So she showed him the account and he's like whoa what the fuck that's not me that's not my account. Someone's trying to be me. Someone's pretending to be me. And then again he could have been lying that could have been his backup account so you know he could secretly talk to all his side chicks. But that's just theory that came to mind right now. But regardless, people get impersonated on the internet. It might have just happened to you without knowing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Share opinions or thoughts or similar stories. I would appreciate the fuck out of you if you dropped a like. You know, because why not? I mean, who are you saving those likes for? PewDiePie? Come on, PewDiePie won't know if you drop a like on my video instead of his for the day. 
I won't say anything. Just, you know, drop a like. Just fucking do it, mate. I'm watching you. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and take it easy. Waking up to instrumentals, playing smoke up in the ceiling fan. Complicated wordplay, but really I'm a simple man. I like my weather good. I like my women hood. I keep it 100 and get misunderstood. Don't get my words twisted now. We ain't all the same.